themikemagazine.com, bringing you only the best exclusives in entertainment news. Hey, Mike Magazine, it's Jasmine Hughes here, set to say um, I love what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing, and I wish you all the success in the world. Jasmine, how are you? I'm good. I'm oh, good. Oh, right. All good right. To be here. Awesome to be standing before you um, here at WGNL GNG, and this is one of uh, three uh, historical spots as far as black-owned radio uh, or broadcasting is concerned. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit, the people who don't know WGNL GNG, can you tell them about 106.3 and all of the good things you all do here? Uh, most definitely. Well, 106.3 is our sister station. Um, it was started a little later. Um, it's a smaller format, but it's hip-hop and it's R&B. It's more urban, uh, catered toward a, um, a younger audience, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to WGNL, which is the power station is 50,000 watts it takes over the Delta it's blues it's oldies it caters to an adult demographic um, it's it, it, it also caters to the rich history um, of the Mississippi Delta so we play a lot of artists that were born and bred and came up you know on and, these Mississippi crossroads and speaking of born and bred I listen to 106.3 a lot um, and I hear you all playing a lot of local people, and that's Definitely. one thing that I really admire about you all. Um, because, you know, Beyonce is fine, but you have those around here who are aspiring to exactly. uh, get that exposure that they're needing. Talk a little bit about why it is that you all focus on the locals. Well, um, my grandfather, Reuben Hughes, when he established the radio station, um, he, he did it for the people. You know, he did it for the people of the Mississippi Delta to cater to the needs of the Mississippi Delta, the entertainment needs of the Mississippi okay. Delta. Okay. Um, so one of the reasons is is just that's because of that's his vision, you know, and he, okay. he's always said that you don't have to leave Mississippi to do what you want to do. You just have to make enough money here to do what you want to do. Now. You know, so. You're standing in front of a blues marker. Yes. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, this um, blues marker was dedicated to the blues DJs of the South. Um, uh -huh. My grandfather being one of them, Ike Turner, um, Sherman Blues Johnson. Ike and, Turner? Yeah, Ike oh, Turner, wow. Bruce Payne, <laughs> um, Early Wright, and Mr. Charles Evers, who a lot of you may be familiar um, mm -hmm. with, Megger Evers' brother, who has the radio station um, as well. Okay. Um, and so this is just honoring all of the radio disc jockeys of the past, the people that were pioneers in playing the Mississippi, Del uh, the Mississippi Delta Blues on the radio. Okay. You know, these were some of the first people to play blues on the radio. They were playing blues on the radio when they were only playing country oh wow on the radio so <laughs> these are our blues djs and they pretty much help spread blues across the country so, eventually so sorry dj too tall down in jackson you didn't start it <laughs> <laughs> right. now exactly. i understand that you uh graduated from tougaloo yeah tell I'm us a little tougaloo. bit about you because i know that you are an actress is that correct that is correct did some acted out in uh california is that correct yes 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 i um i went to tougaloo i finished at tougaloo i went on um it was very active at tougaloo pledge delta sigma theta okay was also miss tougaloo and went on to compete awesome um, in the miss mississippi pageant as Miss Tougaloo hmm. and um, after uh, grad school I left and I moved to California I lived in California I worked as an actress I got into a master's program out there okay. one of the top uh, fine arts schools in the country uh, California Institute of the Arts shout where, out shout out yeah <laughs> where I got my master's in um, theater okay um, and um, I went on from there I graduated I went to New York and I did a little theater in New York and now I'm back in Mississippi oh, wow. helping my grandparents helping them run the radio station and continue to build you know the legacy and, and team broadcasting because it's all about team you know it's all about our team it's all about us working together to achieve you know the greater good and to keep our family's legacy alive and to keep the legacy of the Mississippi Dells and the Delta Blues ringing. Now when I hear 106.3 or 104.3 I think of Sario. Talk a little bit about him. Well <laughs> I mean <laughs> Sario's a pioneer here. You know, Sario was at this radio station living and working and, and starting it, you know. Um, so from the bottom, from now the, we're here. Exactly. So Sario has been here since the very beginning of this radio station. Mm -hmm. He's been in radio his whole life, uh, pretty much. Before he was in radio, he was at a record shop that my grandfather um, used to run in, uh -huh. in Mobile. And okay. so he's always been in entertainment. He's always been in radio. Uh, he knows, you know, the community very well. Mm -hmm. um, um, everybody knows him, Sario. Is, Absolutely. Yeah, Sario <laughs> is definitely um, the face 
of the radio station. Awesome. You know, people who don't know Ruben and Maxine Hughes, uh -huh. they know Sario, you know. And quickly, where can we find you guys? Um, you Are you social networking? Yes. Uh -huh. um, we have a website, 104WGNL.com. Check us out. You can stream the radio station live. You can listen to us. Um, you can check out Sario's Facebook. I'm <laughs> always jumping, you know, with everything that's going on here. You okay. can listen to us and, you know, pick us up when you're in the area, 106.3, 104.3. Uh, but the website, you know, is definitely the place to hear about our contest, uh, new announcements. What do you all on. have going right now as far as the contest is concerned? Oh, uh, we have uh, 100 Days of Summer, double quick okay you know it's um a really great campaign that they're running now and people are really excited about it and they're giving away free gas for a month awesome free bluebell ice cream okay so, you know we love opportunities like that mm -hmm. for you know um the 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 business is here to be able to give back to the people because greenwood really has some you know beautiful people in there somewhere and thank you so much jasmine for this opportunity to speak on such a historical uh spot uh just you all are leaving <laughs> continuing to leave an indelible mark on our hearts and in our ears so thank you so much for thank this you. interview it has been awesome thank you pleasure's all mine angela simpson here the voice behind the mic